The Confederation of Meningitis Organisations represents members in some 40 countries around the world, of which 16 are in Europe. Our function, and that of our members, is to raise awareness of the disease, its causes, diagnosis, treatment and prevention. Meningitis is an acute inflammation of the membranes around the brain. And while viral meningitis is the most common form, bacterial meningitis is the most dangerous, being able to cause death or serious disability within hours. Bacterial meningitis is mainly due to three major organisms. The meningococcus, serogroups A, B, C, Y and W, the, pneumon the pneumococcus and Haemophilus influenzae type B, commonly called Hib. Vaccines are available to protect against many forms of, of meningitis, although availability and acceptance of some of these, of these is not universal. Meningitis is usually thought of as being a disease of childhood, but in fact it is no respecter of age. It is therefore essential that we consider vaccination throughout life, from infants and children through adolescents to adults and older people. The first peak of meningitis occurs in infants under five years of age, and the second in adolescents. There is, however, a third peak of invasive pneumococcal disease after the age of 65 years. And with the rise in cases of meningococcus serogroup W, which children catch and carry, but which causes more deaths in those over 65, their grandparents' generation. It is even more important, therefore, to consider life course vaccination. Why do we need to consider the older population? It is true that the European population is growing older. In the past 50 years or so, the average life expectancy at birth has increased by 10 years. Good news, we're all living longer. The bad news is that we're all expected to work longer, with many countries changing their pension policies. Therefore, we must all remain healthier longer. Invasive pneumococcal disease, for example, which I have already mentioned, causes meningitis and pneumonia. 26 European countries have general recommendations for vaccinations in the 0 to 4 year old age group, but few have general recommendations for those over 65. Countries such as the United Kingdom, with an effective childhood immunisation programme, have seen a dramatic decrease in case numbers, including adults, through herd protection. But is this enough? Vaccinating people of all ages means fewer cases, fewer carriers of meningitis, and therefore slower spread and decrease in case numbers. As well as decreasing carriage of meningitis causing bacteria, an important topic in the future is the rise of bacterial resistance to antibiotics. And as antibiotics are the only treatment available for bacterial meningitis, it makes vaccinating and protecting people of all ages all the more important. We believe that the only way to effect such a change is to bring all stakeholders together, policymakers, clinicians and researchers, industry, the media, and most importantly, the recipients of vaccines so that life course vaccination, including adults, becomes not just an initiative, but the normal way of protecting ourselves, our families and our friends.